Oh. It's so this is just show you that it's ready to believe in a proper robot. Hey there, folks. <laughs> Sorry, did that catch you off guard? Hey, I'm the Serious AG. I'm Zerfall. <clears throat> Welcome to the inside of the Undersea Temple. This looks very similar to the start of the last video, with one key difference. There's yeah, somebody on little... the left-hand side going, Yay! We got a purple person over there going, Yay! They do look they got... Well, kind of like a... Middle of the back length long hair that's purple with kind of a light purple highlight to it. <laughs> and their arms are going like, yay! But as we, if you if you recall the zoom in on that person though, that's their retractable wings, which they are not retracting now for reasons. I guess we'll find out what those reasons are. Though there's no light sources, the temple's interior is faintly lit. It's not quite lit, you know, but it's <laughs> yeah. faintly lit. Okay then, now what? Now we have to find a way to open that door in the ceiling. I feel like we try everyone bef uh, before we try, <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. Arena is the correct answer. Yeah, you know she's going to be. Because we, we know we came here without Arena and we couldn't do it. This is not a complex puzzle. Why don't you get it, Elner? Yuna, this is no time for clowning around. You know these wigs don't have thumbs. Yeah, if it was time for cloning, I'd be cloning. Elder is getting exasperated. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted to have happen. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the whole point. Gina, if you will. Yo, Gina, damn. See, she only goes horizontal. <laughs> Gina whizzes around like a maniac, not knowing how to point her rockets downwise. Yeah, how's that? Go for it, Marina. We have unique art for every person she could be looking at. Yep. Marina like does nothing response. of the sort and simply stares at Yuna. I like that. I like that a lot. So now it's Yuna's turn. Marina, what's the matter? It's like you're some kind of useless mermaid bot. Yuna, is it possible you're running out of brain cells? Oh, Archie. Uh, I'll show you. I'll open it myself. <laughs> right, right. I got it. I'll open it. Is she going to jump I, I, in like last time, or what? For some reason, everyone glares at Yuna. All right, you hands and feet. If you're so fucking smart, why don't you just do it? Why are you waiting for her to tell you? We got a voice line. Yuna seems a little, well, you know. Sometimes I'm ashamed to think I'm this girl's other self. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> a little like, yeah, I don't even know what voice you're doing anyway. Uh, perhaps that was some mistake with choosing the savior of light. I have the same thought myself sometimes. Come on, guys. You really have to lay into me so much. Yes, it is required I mean, by this contract. As her managers, they should be building her up right now. Depressed, Yuna quits jumping up and down. Fine. But thou must. Arena, you're up. Oh, yeah, I've been up for a while. You just need to open that door, right? Arena flies off towards the ceiling. We don't need to merge realize... with her to go up there and open the door? And what did I see now? The bat Oh, we got to be merging with her. Uh, the next Froyline shows up for sure. But uh, I th I'm realizing now that Batman is basically just a modified Barabbas. <laughs> Arena grabs onto the door. Ready, <laughs> Yuna. I'm going to open it. I, re I remember seeing an interview with him where he was like, oh, I got the idea for that voice from watching some random YouTube video of some guy in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love them when they did that interview with him. <laughs> no. Christian Bale, who was the first actor to ever play Batman. Hey, hold on a sec. What is it, Yuna? She's about to drop this door on us and kill us. If you open the door, she's right. Won't the seawater come swooshing in and flood the place and then I'll drown? I was actually kind of hoping that was just going to happen anyways, but... Like, not that she would drown, but that, like, the water would start coming in. What have we done? So, what would you have us do? Um, I hadn't really gotten that far. Well, I mean, uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's that difficult a problem, but I'm glad she saw it coming. Well, we... Yeah, you could clearly merge. Uh-huh. Hello, 
Can I open it already? Why? Everyone's had it with Unizantix. There's nothing wrong with what she's saying here. I mean, goddamn, for a bunch of hands and feet, they're really uppity. Oh, uh, just open it. Well, I mean, if the other side was truly seawater, then we did have no reason to do anything. Like, it's got to be at least another small room or something. <laughs> That's a good point. I hope that it turns out Yuna's right, though, and everyone has to feel bad for making her feel stupid. I don't speak for Like, even if she's right, they're not going to apologize. These asshole hands and feet. Thud! Instantly, space twists upon itself, and Yuna and the others fall towards the ceiling. I really did think it said falk. <laughs> Oh, gee, what the heck was that? That was some bullshit. <laughs> it would appear that gravity has been reversed between the ceiling and the floor. You fiend! Tell me that before it happens! Hey, everybody, look, look. Doing so, they see a staircase leading down through the door. But it ah, but it's up actually up going ceiling. up. Yeah. <laughs> what a strange sensation it is to see stairs sloping down into the ceiling. Uh, what's the deal with this place? First it was a queen, if you know what I mean. And now it's a staircase in the ceiling? Is this staircase going to somehow be a dominatrix? I don't really want to go in there. And say, you know, this isn't the time to be saying things like that. The city just showed you. Exactly. Come on now, everyone, move along. Ah, wait up! Oh, we didn't get to look twice. Arena, you're not the seat that we deserve, oh, wow. but you're the seat we need right now. Suit. So, uh... Those were some amazing sounds of someone walking yeah. down four stairs. I I, I could feel the the echoes around me. Elder. And the others have moved on their own accord, leaving Yuno with no choice. It's just like follow. when my hands and feet get up and leave because I'm like my torso <laughs> is <laughs> taking too much time. Beats don't fail me now, because you're in charge. <laughs> Come back, I'm your master. At the end of the stairs is a dimly lit hall. Whoa, what is this? What a big room. That's a big room. That's a Look big, at big room. room. Look at the big artwork on that room. I kind of been neat. I actually like the look of this place. It's kind of sweet. That light's so faint. It's kind of scary. Hey, would the old savior of light really be in a place like this? Is that who we're looking for? I don't even remember. Yeah, and we only have four glowy orbs, and they're all glowing. So, who's this old savior of light? I guess after after three times the light savior shows up, they stop uh, having to come back. Yes, On this I... third visit of the Light Savior, Zhuge Liang will receive them. <laughs> yes, I can feel her for certain, but... <laughs> I said but. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. You don't think some kind of dark Froyline's going to show up, do you? Oh, I mean, in here? Like, how do they reverse gravity or and or fly? Oh, good point. It <laughs> wouldn't make any sense for that to happen. You're right. <laughs> a light shines on the other side of the pillars. Ah, there's a light over there. Let's go take a look. Agreed. Oh wow, it's the oh, it's the it's the eyeball from the uh, ultimate uh, weapon in uh, Snake the Cobra Commander yeah, Adventure. Say, it's, like, the last boss already. <laughs> it's like a sword and a spaceship, and it opens cans. No oh, man, we merge with this uh, this other girl. We're gonna get the the psycho cannon. Can I just let's take a brief moment to reflect on the fact that 800 episodes in, the ultimate weapon is discovered and is dealt with in like half an episode because it's so. <laughs> it turns out the ultimate weapon was the psycho cannon the whole time. <laughs> the real ultimate weapon was the psycho cannon we found inside ourselves as we <laughs> ogled the, the to, as we ogled the same woman with slightly different hair colors, but over and over throughout the adventure. Entering the light, they find themselves before a resplendent throne fit for a king or a light person. Queen? Oh. Here's a queen, but not like a dominatrix queen, I guess. A lone girl sits atop the throne. She has perfected the art of self-mummification. 
Ah! Is that her? The girl's demeanor is calm and practically radiates elegance. Either that or it's like... It's gonna be the end of that, that uh, Egyptian game. <laughs> we beat them and then now Yuna has the powers, but she can only control them inside the temple. Uh. The girl is staring at Yuna. You're just determined not to ever do the speak part of these things. You just did look twice. We don't get to speak. Because I did look speak each time and it kept moving us along. Hmm, elegance sure is important for a Fräulein, eh? I mean, huh? Oh, wow, you're okay, hey, right, right. up on you. <laughs> Who are you, uh, Yehoser? I am the descendant of the Unseen that prospered on this planet in ancient times. Now I protect the vanished royal family. Oh, <laughs> she protects them by sitting on their throne, having usurped it. <laughs> so, Wellner, this has to be her, right? I don't think so. Da, 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 da. The girl continues to stare at Yuna. Melgan sure is important for a Fräulein, huh? Hey, what are you acting all shy for, Elner? She's the one, right? Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, they let us do all the things this time. I'm going to draw a closer to the girl. Yuna tries to get closer, but her body is mysteriously unable to move. Same is true of Elner and the rest. Although she doesn't find out about this till later because she's not able to talk to them, you know, since her lips can't move. Well, what's this? I can't move my body. Yuna, we can't move because of an evil power. Also, I could talk the whole time. I was just choosing not to, I guess. We can't move because of an evil power called psoriasis. Are you Yuna, savior of light? I must defeat you. What? Aren't you supposed to be the old savior of light? I'm the new savior of light. Why would you want to defeat your replacement? <laughs> savior of light is dead. Long live the sailor fear of light. <laughs> the sailor fear of light. The, hot, the, hot, the new hotness is here to destroy you, bit. She promised me that should I defeat you, this undersea kingdom would be revived. Oh, who's this she? She who must be obeyed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Rumple, the Bailey's wife. As the last member of the royal family, it falls to me to restore the kingdom. No way. Hey, you've gone all screwy from being cooped up here alone, haven't you? You got all weird and peculiar. <laughs> you should have gone outside. That's where all the people are. You'd be able to make a lot of friends and have fun. Oh, she should have gone up to the surface. Yeah. I want to be where could've, the people are. You could have been in a bikini. You wouldn't have to make friends with your hands and feet like I have. <laughs> For this is the fate of the royal line to go crazy and wear a kooky eyeball helmet. I think you'd be better off if you stopped caring about some of the old royal family. Uh-oh. I could never do such a thing. A Lannister always repays his debts and family is all. Oops, I guess I made her mad. She was going to kill us, but now she's going to enjoy it. <laughs> you know, as one of the 13 Fräuleins of Darkness, because I clearly am, I, Ryudia of the Ancient Civilization, will defeat you. Wait, so are these Fräuleins literally just like the blue-haired girls gone around and been like, hey, you want to be a Fräulein? I'll give you something if you do, I guess. I, I'm I'm starting to wonder. Uh, she's like an ancient civilization person, so clearly she already had weird power. She just wasn't a Fräulein yet. Yeah. Hey, Elder, isn't she supposed to be the old savior? Wait, what? Talk <laughs> isn't she supposed to be the old savior of life? What's going on, Holmes? Uh, well. Hey, look at thumbnail. Hey, wait! I can't fight you. You're so lonesome. You're so lonely. You could die. What does this royal family and bloodline junk matter? You should have more fun for yourself. Hey, I don't want to fight you. Let me just insult everything you've put your life to be about. <laughs> <laughs> the royal family is precious to me, and for some reason I'm explaining this to you rather than killing you. Well, I think you're the one who's important. Aww. Aww. The real thing that's special about you is the psycho gun you find inside yourself. <laughs> 
that's right. Have you forgotten about me, Rayudia? Indeed I have. Who the hell are you? So you do know her. Oh man, am I going to get all weird later? I do not know. What you are saying may be the truth of things. Yet for the sake of the kingdom's restoration, and on behalf of the moon, I must fight you. But I don't want to fight. I'm not very good at it. All right, we gotta. Well, we gotta. We gotta fuse Batman here. Yep. The Dark Knight. We can become Batgirl and then get canceled. This HBO is, Max. This is a little reminiscent of getting uh, a new part from uh, Base Wars. A little bit, yeah. She kind of integrates into that suit more naturally than some of the others. <laughs> That's a huge sword. She manages to show more skin than I thought from the other pictures. <laughs> oh god, she's oh. fused with something too! Okay. Wow! Now we don't even know what this- They gave us a new fusion and we don't get to see what it is. They could have thrown in a token fro line before. I think, uh, I think what we're gonna find out is whatever fusion we choose there is permanently disabled. I do not know what you are saying may be the truth of things. But for the sake of the kingdom's restoration, I'm a Oh, so we just have to fight her without a fusion and they're gonna make us go through this every time. Okay. We gotta we gotta do it the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. But little does she know, we mainly just use insults. We're not allowed to insult her when we're in this mode. We don't have the confidence. Man. Well, we have nothing to spend our points on, then. Yeah, what's, what's the point of the points? I, I'm wondering if we're... And everything. This, this might be where we... And this could be a gimmick fight. We might be supposed to defend here, but oh, let's it. let's try fighting in normal styles. Yeah. Seven damage. So as long as we take less than seven damage, we'll be okay. And we take 800 damage. Oh, that's way less than seven. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like zero damage. Now yeah, let's try this gun mode on. Uh, the gun mode's always easier to dodge. Yeah. I wanted to stick with sword mode because it was working, you know? Boop. Oh, that's not good. Nope. Well, that's the thing, is that yeah. normally the sword mode hits more, but the gun mode does more damage. Right. When it does hit. It's just easier to dodge, which this person has not learned. So as long as we keep sword moding it up here, we should be okay. Yeah, gun mode might be like our desperation if we get some critical fails or something. Yeah. You know, just the very fact that we're allowed to win is mildly surprising to me. I thought this was like uh, going to be some gimmick battle. Oh no! Narrowly dodges. Well, we may know shortly whether we're supposed to. Uh, I gotta try it. Yeah, because if we lose and it's just like, oh, I'll try again, then we'll know, yeah, we're supposed to just win this straight up. 15 damage. 15 damage. She didn't, she didn't seem very affected by it, though. No, but we're back in this. Oh, no, we're back out of this. We need two gun modes in the world to work. Come on. Excellent. She tilted uh -huh. her head slightly. Perhaps you asked too much, but it seems like you asked just enough. All right, now we got to do the sword mode. We've got a bit of a lead here. Let's not be too crazy. It's gonna I take us we need one four more turns to work. To yeah, it's gonna take effective. us four turns because we're at twenty-two and seven damage each. So we need another gun mode to to really put this away. Excellent. Now a sword mode will finish it up. Now we've got two more chances at it. So the the idea here is it's a battle of duty versus just doing whatever you feel like doing for yourself. Yeah, and, we and are really the, the, the good cause. Way. Oh yeah, no, that was that was some like Panzer Generals shit right there. <laughs> but the uh, the uh, the main thing is that the true cause of righteousness, which is being selfish, won. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
The darkness power continues to swell. Yep. I, I'm also, uh, I also feel sorry for the whatever robot she fused with, because it is dead now. I guess so. It also looked like it was made of ceramic instead of metal. <laughs> well, it was an ancient robot. Nope. I guess. She doesn't exist anymore. Sorry. You no, know, that robot was never made of materials that were meant to be able to dive at these depths. I'm sorry. They... <laughs> no, no wonder why she couldn't go outside. Well, it turns out she wasn't uh, a light person. Let's just go. Yeah. Hey, Elner, what are we doing now? <laughs> but then she turned evil, and now she's dead, so it all worked out. If she is bound by darkness, we have to go back and put her down. It's like, yeah, she got, she, she got to live for thousands of years uh, for some reason, unlike these other ones that are robots. Uh, but now she gets to turn into a robot and have a master. Yuna, can you hear me? This is Colonel Campbell. Respond. Oh, man, when the voices start speaking directly to my mind, I get worried. Yep. Yuna, remember what DeGaulle said. The She's graveyards like, are full of indispensable men. It would have been great if she was like, Oh, so you're all better now. No, I'm more evil than ever, and now I'm inside your mind. <laughs> hey, get out of Yuna's mind, robot lady. <laughs> so can you get us on a private channel without that robot girl? <laughs> Although I am mad about before. Uh-oh. But wait, we beat you without even fusing. We need you to level up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Everyone stop jumping into her conversation with the... Mm. Oh, I'm finding my enemy everywhere! I can't avoid tripping over these dark boy lines! I only have so many vacation days. We gotta, we gotta end this. Mm -hmm. It's Darth Marenghi, or Darth Marenghi's dark space. Some of the dark Ferengis, you know, they they care about each other and take care of society. Anti Ferengis, yeah. So the socialist Ferengi. Cloud planet, oh man, it's a whole planet full of emo guys whose swords are bigger than they are. <laughs> I literally know nothing more than this. This is this is the limit of my knowledge. <laughs> she's only saying that because we defeated her, and she wants to be like, well, I lost to the team that went all the way to the end, so... Yeah. So, well, I mean, thanks for the faith, but some actual practical advice on how to do this would be appreciated. Obi-Wan, you are only hope. I'm really not very good, guys. <laughs> so, well, because you said please, I guess I will. Yeah. Is she in the afterlife? Because it seemed like she had some, like, guards standing around her and stuff there. Yeah, the afterlife guards. Well, like, her kingdom was restored, but only in her mind. <laughs> the gates to heaven are guarded by U.S. Marines. That's what their hymn says. That has been since the beginning of time. <laughs> yes. This is before there were Marines. Hold on, I got the Dark Nebula on speed dial. Let me check in. He's getting pretty funky here. I mean, you're the dark uh, robot, right? Purple is like as dark as we're allowed to get with our color schemes. Like, this so where are you going to go, people's... Yuna? <laughs> There's one option. Go to a, a cloud planet. Yeah. I suppose we should save this. We should probably save this. Hey, check it out. They got the GAO yellow book there, so... You can flip through that if you want to know about, like, government... Uh, generally accepted government auditing standards. All right, well, we're going to have to decide if we're going to the Cloud Planet or the Dark Nebula. But we're going to decide I, My that. mind is blown by the fact that there are two places we can go, actually. I know. It's, I, I'm I need scared time to now. Just... I'm not used to choice anymore. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I need some time to digest here. So uh, next time we'll decide uh, which one we're going to. Oh, I think next time here. we should go back to the machine planet where there was that unexplained uh, rebel army. Just and, and we're only going there to be like, okay, guys, let's go someplace we're familiar with and just collect our thoughts. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna kind of re. We're just gonna sort of talk about what we know, what we don't know, in a nice, safe setting like the robot planet where there was acid rain and uh, strange, unexplained warrior people. <laughs> we'll see you then, folks. Bye.